about it too is each male sings exactly the same song. So you think, okay, that's all right. They've just learned how to do it. And they keep doing it. The season is the same as the birthing season or vice versa. So all the mums that are headed up here. <laughs> So from 2010 we've um, celebrated the whales returning to Harvey Bay with the paddle out. It's become a real conservation day because we also remember that whales are still being hunted in this day and age. So Harvey Bay in Queensland is such a special place to see the whales. The whales migrate up from Antarctica every year and a lot of coastal towns whale watch. But the beauty we have, the whales stop over in the bay. And because of the stopover factor, we get awesome whale watching. They're very relaxed, they're playing, they're socialising, mums are rearing calves, very shallow, calm bay. And um, it's just amazing out there because they're so relaxed. I'm a marine science teacher here at one of the local high schools. And um, we think it's very important to learn about the significance of the whales and how they do populate the area and all the science behind it and the history and encourage those young generations coming up in our local area to understand the importance of those whales in our area. Well, there's a fundamental reason that Harvey Bay in Queensland is uh, one of the best whale watching areas in the world. When the humpback whales come into Harvey Bay, they actually pause in their migration. One of the things our research has shown is that they spend on average two weeks a year in the bay. Um, and while they're there, they're doing uh, all these social behaviours that are important to them, but which are very entertaining to us. Well, look, the recovery uh, has uh, gone from 150 whales who survived the last period of whaling in the early 60s. And over the last uh, 40 to 50 years, they've recovered to about 23,000. So it's a really healthy trajectory of recovery. But we can't rest on our laurels because they're only about halfway to where they were before the last period of whaling. There were probably near to 40,000 whales in this group. Uh, while they're in Harvey Bay, they spend about 70% of their time alone with their calf. Uh, and during that time, they're involved in feeding, nurturing and resting. And of course, the uh, training activity that they undertake between the mothers and calves is incredibly spectacular and very, a very important uh, part of whale watching in the bay. The bay, the location, 
the opportunity for the social interaction is quite crucial to the uh, survival of the whales and their recovery. And on the other hand, the various classes of whales that are coming through the bay and the variety of behaviours is what makes Harvey Bay's uh, surface whale watching opportunities absolutely go globally unique. And the paddle out is one of the focal celebrations of the return of the whales and a reminder that we've got to keep looking after these uh, amazing whales who are a treasure. They're, a, they're an important part of our natural heritage and they do need to be cared for and protected and Harvey Bay and Queensland are doing that.